what's up everybody it's your boy k ray so what i'm gonna be doing today i'm gonna be preparing a, another one of my mom's favorite dishes which is like a southern soul food style dish well it actually is a southern soul food style dish which is uh just some some pig feet um you know like i say you go to any soul food restaurant around here you definitely gonna see these on the menu or on the uh, steam table. So this is what I got going. The veggies I'm gonna use: some green onions, green bell pepper, uh, half a green bell pepper, half an onion, and one um, jalapeno. I got about about four green onions over there that I'm gonna use. Basically, I'm gonna you know hit it with a little Worcestershire sauce, some of uh, my all-purpose rub. Uh, I'm going to use uh, just a couple of dashes of uh, sriracha. You know, I like to put hot sauce in my pig feet. And um, this is my choice to use. That's some good stuff. This is what I'm going to be doing, using as uh, my binding agent, some of this Tony Sacheris, uh instant roux. I mean, I could use, you know, some flour and butter, maple roux, or either uh, some cornstarch. But this here gets, gets the job done just as well. Um, it adds a little bit more flavor um, to the food. So, you know, I, I really like um, using it in my dishes. So what I'm going to do is just uh, cut these veggies up, uh, get the pig feet on, get them boiling, and um, I'll be back uh, with you all once they start boiling. And um, I'll just, you know, start the seasoning process and everything later. All right, everybody, I am back. As you can see, I got the pig feet uh, boiling pretty good. So at this time, I'm gonna add uh, my veggies. Got everything all nice and cut up. Just dump them right in there. Hit with some Worcestershire sauce. Probably about a good tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. You know, like I said before, I don't measure I just kind of season to taste so here's my season all purpose rub a nice little heaping of that in there and you can just use whatever your favorite season season uh seasons are you know so some people use one season some people use a whole lot of seasons so that's just my own little special blend right there and so uh next just hit it with um uh, some sriracha if I can get it open with one hand. Probably about a good teaspoon of that. So just stir all this in, put the top back on, and let it roll for about an hour. At that point, I'll, uh, you know, I'll probably, you know, taste the season on it a couple of times and then I'll uh, get back at you in probably about an hour then at that point I'll just add uh, probably some, some minced garlic to it, give it another layer of flavor so I'll get back with you about an hour later alright everybody I am back about an hour in on the cook of the pig feet see they coming along really good so uh Real nice aroma, smelling really good in here. So what I'm gonna do at this point, I'm gonna just add like a tablespoon of minced garlic, give it another layer of flavor, and probably about a fourth of a teaspoon of um, Italian seasoning, give it a nice little kick. So I got this going. I'm gonna let this roll for probably about another hour. And then I'm going to come back and uh, hit it with some of that, that instant roux just to tighten it up a little bit, you know, have a nice little gravy taste to it and uh, let it roll for about 30 more minutes after that. So my total cook time should be about two and a half hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook some of these little yams with it, some of these sugary Sam sweet potatoes. They're pretty good. Um, just add like a quarter cup of uh, brown sugar to them, tablespoon of white sugar, and um, 
half a teaspoon of nutmeg and uh, cinnamon to it. And they should come out really, really nice. So I'm gonna put those on in a minute. Let these roll on. I'll get back at you later. All right, everybody, I'm back two hours into the cook. And um, as you can see, I already added um, the roux, the instant roux mixture uh, to it, just to, uh, you know, as a binding agent, to, to uh, bind it up a little bit. You know, I don't want it too thick like a gravy, just, you know, real nice, uh, a consistent uh, roux. So I got those. What I did was just use uh, equal parts on the roux, um, half a cup of water, half a cup of roux, and just poured it right in there and stirred it in. It worked out fine. Over here, got some cream corn, sweet cream corn. Just added like a tablespoon of white sugar to it and a teaspoon of black pepper. Gonna be good to go over there. Gonna be doing some good eating today. Me and mom, I got uh, got them sweet potatoes right there. Smelling really good. So uh, we good. I'm gonna let this roll for about 30 minutes. And then when I come back, I should be plating up uh, ready uh, to taste the food uh, later. All right, everybody, I am back. And this is my finished product right here on the pig feet. As you can see, I got some nice color on them. Got some cream corn working right here. Yams working. Got some rice for that little thin gravy that I got off of uh, the pig feet. So now is the moment of truth. See what we're working with here. Nice, tender, fall off the bone. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Not too spicy. It's got the right flavor content on it, flavor profile. Melt in your mouth. Really can't ask too much more than that on pig feet. I say this is just like a little soul food, delicacy food that we have. Don't eat them all the time, but definitely grew up on these. Can't forget about them. Good, good, good. All right. Gonna be my meal, my lunch for the day. So, finish this up. Get busy on this. Like I say, it's just like one of the areas that I like cooking in, which is uh, soul food. So, don't get any more soul food than this with a uh, with a uh, pig feet. So, as I always say, I appreciate everybody stopping by, checking out my video, and uh, definitely appreciate the comments and uh, and the subscribe. So I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, and uh, that's all I that's all I can do. So, and uh, I love doing it, and I'm I, I'm, I hope everybody uh, you know enjoy my videos as well. So on that note. K Ray signing out. Later. Peace.